Hey everyone, it's Liz Justice here with the Personal Development Network. Uh, I am shooting this video to give my review of The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Um, I just finished listening to the audiobook about a week ago. Um, so for you, those of you who don't know, The Miracle Morning is um, it's a self-improvement slash personal development book. And it gives you a method for starting your day so that you are focused on achieving your goals and you're in your best frame of mind to be the most effective, productive person that you can be. Um, so a little bit of a background about me um, before, I, so you can have a frame of reference for my opinion on the book. I um, am, have not always been a morning person. In fact, I was... Um, I ate quite the night owl and then I had kids and I became a morning person. Um, then I started realize like getting up extra early so that I could meditate in the morning. Um, because without meditation, it's really hard for me to stay calm with my, I mean, with meditation, it is difficult to stay calm and patient with small children. Um, but without it is so much harder. So I tried to always at least carve out time in my day to have five to 10 minutes of meditation. And um, because I have small kids, they sometimes get up early and ruin my carved out time. <laughs> and um, I would end up leaving early for work to go and, and sit in the parking lot and meditate there. So it was very important to me to have a little bit of a morning routine. So this book um, basically gives you uh, a very defined morning that you can plan. And it's not like, you know, wake up at 5, do this until 5, 10, do this until... I mean, you're, you have six things that you're supposed to do. Um, and the initial recommendation is six or is 10 minutes each. Um, but you can adjust the morning to fit your needs. So um, like uh, you... you Exercising is one of them, and 10 minutes is kind of a short exercise uh, to get your blood flowing. Um, but maybe 10 minutes is a long time to spend on affirmations. So you can adjust the times of things to do what you need. So basically, it, uh, the routine is savers, if you haven't seen it before. So it's S for silence, which is me what I do meditation. Some people might do prayer. Um, a for affirmations, V for visualization. I have a visualization board that I can look at every morning and kind of remind myself my goals. E for exercise, R for reading, and S for scripting or journaling. Um, so I am on day seven of the 30 day challenge and um, I'm getting up an hour earlier than normal and I'm a little bit of a morning person, but um, it's been a little tough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, anyway, so I think the motivations in the book are great. The, um, his theory behind everything is great, and it is a very motivational, inspirational book. Um, and I think that having the whole morning routine is fantastic. And these are all items that are great to do and that the most successful people tend to do. Um, maybe not necessarily in the morning, but they're all things that people tend to do. And so it's just what his theory was, is that all the gurus say, do all these things. And he, um, and you know, there, he hadn't been doing them. So he was like, I'm going to do it at the first thing in the morning and make sure it gets done. So, um, one thing though, that I do think is missing from the savers routine is gratitude. Um, if you, aren't able to be grateful for what you have, then you will have a really hard time finding fulfillment. So I, I like to add in gratitude to my routine, find three things that I am grateful for. It doesn't take that long. Um, and it, it really, um, keeps me in a good spirit and, um, keeps me fulfilled. So, uh, and, and really joyous often. So, um, so that's one thing I didn't like about it was that it didn't have gratitude included, but it's, you know, it's easy enough to include that on your own. Um, I think that 10 minutes a day of reading is not enough, but I think for anybody who's not reading right now, it's a fantastic place to start. So um, really, like once you get into the habit of doing this and you see the benefits you gain from each thing, chances are you are going to find time throughout your day to do more of that stuff. Um, another thing for me is uh, I 
having the visualization, like that was one thing I was really bad at, um, not doing visualization. I um, have been a lot more effective at working towards my goals since I've been visualizing them. You know, I wouldn't even look at my goals every day. So I wouldn't, I don't remember to do something to try to achieve that goal today. Um, scripting though is the one I had, to, I am having a hard time with. Um, I, I've come up with, you know, something good things to write. Um, but for the most part, um, I learn lessons throughout the day. And so it's really more of an evening type of activity for me. So I'm going to keep doing it for the 30 days, see if that changes for me. And I can maybe do be more effective with my writing in the morning. But for now, um, uh, right now, I, I think I'm, it's better for me to do in the evening. Um, so we'll see after 30 days if that changes or not. Um, but if it does, then you know what, I'll just take that and make that my, like the thing I do before I go to bed, because I think it's a really good daily activity. And it's probably good just to have a journal with you throughout the day so you can write down important things when they happen or important lessons that you pick up at the moment and before you forget it. Um, so that then, um, the meditation, meditation is like my favorite self-help thing ever. Um, but for some people meditation or prayer or whatever it is that you, that you need to do might be better done in the evening, might be a better like calm down activity rather than pump up activity. Um, for me, it sets the tone for the day, but for somebody else, they might be calm in the morning and they they maybe need it to de-stress after a long day um and then affirmations fantastic um when i was pregnant i did a lot of affirmations i have not done them since um they really help to set your mental attitude to where you feel good about yourself and good about what you're doing um i already touched on visualization exercise get your blood pumping um, without exercise, it might be two hours before I'm fully awake with the exercise. I'm awake after the exercise, even though I just do yoga, um, I'm awake. Um, and then, uh, I want to say like the, what I've noticed is I, I am still struggling to get up that early. Um, but I'm going to give it the full 30 days for sure. And I'll keep I'll keep the routine, um, maybe not the full, I'm, I'll adapt it to, to what I need, but I, um, I'm def definitely going to keep getting up earlier. Um, but what I do notice is even though um, I've definitely been more tired and I know I'll adapt, but I've definitely been more tired this last week, um, oh. but I'm definitely more focused on my goals. Um, I, I don't have second thoughts even about going to the gym. I am going to go to the gym and um, I know that I, I shouldn't do this, but um, you know, there's like, I could get embarrassed at trying to, I could get embarrassed at trying to use a machine and uh, cause what if I use it wrong? And um, I don't know if you, okay and um, people laugh at me and I really don't care about that because I'm not, my goal isn't to get other people around me to not make fun of me. My goal is to better myself and to exercise. And um, also the machines now have really good pictures about how to use them. So that's, you know, it's, it's less likely that I'm gonna embarrass myself, but there's always a chance. Um, but you know, and just like, I, I, I'm an introvert, so I have a hard time talking to people sometimes, but, um, what I know my goal isn't to not be embarrassed or to not look like an idiot in front of these people. My goal is to get something done, to achieve things, to improve myself, to whatever. Um, and, and that's what I've noticed is that I've been way more focused on um, what the purpose of this is rather than how do I protect myself and keep myself from looking stupid, which is, you know, unfortunately, um, something that I've struggled with a lot in my life. And of course I've gotten better, but I think that this miracle morning has been a huge help in that for me. So, um, if you struggle with self doubt, this is a fantastic, fantastic thing to do. Um, but 
I do want to say one thing. Add in gratitude. Have, find three things to be grateful for every day. All right, so um, that is my review of the Miracle Morning. Um, next, I'm going to do a review of Grant Cardone's 10X Rule. So um, keep a lookout for that. Another great book and um, even better audiobook. So uh, keep an eye out for that and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.